guys. I am just up here in my chair in the art room crocheting. I have been most of the day. Bob is off taking a class with some of the kids. And um, yeah, I am just here working on, working on my blanket. Um, my goal is to get it done this week and start on a new project um, or two or three. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it's just a nice quiet Sunday and I'm okay with that. Yeah. All right. That's it for the minute. I might make myself a cup of iced coffee because I'm kind of feeling like I'm in the mood. And yes, if you uh, remember a while back, I made this dress and some bloomers to go underneath it. I have that outfit on today, of course, with a sweater because it is like in the low 50s outside. And yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, you know, the more I think about it, Cup, cup of iced coffee sounds like a good idea. Anyway, I might just be addicted to caffeine, but yeah, there's that. I'll be back. Morning. It is Monday morning, October 30th, I think. And it is just a few minutes before noon. Uh, Mr. B is headed um, to California for work. Um, his, his ride is picking him up in a few minutes. Again, I have no problem telling you all that because by the time you see this, he's going to be back. So there's that. Anyway, as soon as he's off, I'm going to go run a few errands. Um, I usually do errands on Wednesday, but there's going to be a lot of stuff going on around here Wednesday before he gets home. So it's better I just get it done. Anyway. My car is full of pine needles, you guys. It's been... Not really raining a whole lot, but it's been windy and the trees are pooping pine needles everywhere. This driving is going to be interesting. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I am going to, while well, he's gone, my goal, finish the afghan and I cut out another carpet bag. I have one more frame and I want to make another carpet bag. So yeah, anyway, we'll see if I manage all that. I'll be back. Okay, Bob is off to the airport. I have um, just mailed a couple of bills. I've got to call one more bill in, and then we're off to run a couple of errands. Of course, one of them being Joanne's, but you know. <laughs> All right, I'll be okay. back. So I'm down to my last two balls of yarn. Actually, I'm almost done with this one. And then I have one more in a dark gray color that we're gonna use for the edging. I think I'm going to do a half double crochet around the entire edge until the ball's used up, kind of. Um, but I think I'm going to give my hands a little bit of a break. I do daily word, well, daily brain puzzles um, with my husband usually every night. Uh, of course, he's out of town. He did some of them on the plane. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do mine now and sort of do this with my hands, stretch them out, you know, all of that. Um, really hoping I can get this afghan done tonight. That would be really cool. Um, Junior comes tomorrow for babysitting. Um, I think I'm going to forego editing the vlog today and try to finish the blanket. I can edit the video before he comes or after he goes home. Um, so I think I'll do that. I also have to make a point of making myself some lunch either before he gets here, or right after he gets here while he's quiet <laughs> because Bob's not here to like have me text him. Hey, honey, can you get me a glass of water? So anyway, it's too quiet now. You know, COVID happened and he started working at home full time, which is something he said he never wanted to do. We both really got used to it, and liked it. And now when he's gone in the office just for a couple of days, it's just, it's too quiet in the house. So that's okay. I'll get over it. I'll be back. Okay, chores are done. We're downstairs on the sofa. I've made myself some iced coffee because why not? I never sleep well when Bob's not home anyway. So what's the difference? And I started the half double crochet around the edge of the blanket. So let's find some YouTube to watch or listen to and get it done. All right, I'll be back. Guys, the blanket's done. Hang on a second. It's, it's, yeah, Hold this on. is uh, the master bedroom and the lighting is not super good in here. We've never found a light fixture to replace the one the house came with that I 
we both can agree on. But anyway, um, this is a queen size bed and um, it fits on here, but it would fit, probably fit better on a double. It is just a giant granny square with a couple of rows around the edge of half double crochet. You guys, hold on. So there we go. That's a little better. We'll use the light on the camera. So each one of these colors is a different ball of yarn. Okay, approximately 22 balls, skeins, uh, leftover bits, thrifted, gifted, a few purchased, not too many. Most of it was thrifted or gifted. And yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how the blanket turned out. What do you all think? Anyway, on to the next project now. I do have to say, I forgot how much I like making afghans. And they're, especially if you don't do a complicated pattern, like you just do a giant, giant granny square, it's an easy pattern to do um, on the go and traveling or at home and to use random yarns on. Um, it's also a really great stress relief to just sit and crochet, turn some music on or a podcast. And yeah, I really enjoyed myself. So this won't be my last Afghan, not by any stretch. All right, I'll be back. Vlog is edited and rendering. What did I do with the other half? <clears throat> half of this. Ay, 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 hold on. If it was a spider, it would have bitten me. It was right in front of me. Anyway, vlog is rendering right now. So it's all edited. And I had to update some videos that are coming out soon with links from my other partners. So I did that and I've had two cups of coffee and some breakfast. Junior is coming today. So I'm trying to get some stuff done before he gets here. Um, I'm trying. I have a million projects lined up. I have to get through some of them. I have things I wanna clean and reorganize. Like the list is endless, you guys, as it always is. So anyway. I am going to finish getting this saved and loaded to YouTube, and I think I need one more cup of coffee. You know, Mister's not here, so I didn't sleep super well last night. So yeah, it's going to be that way till he gets home. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be By back. By the way, it is Halloween. It's Tuesday, October thirty-first, which means I get to pass out candy by myself, which is okay, I guess. We don't get tons of kids, but it's a really Mr. Bob's thing. He was supposed to be here. Just saying. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so far we've had quite a few kids for Halloween. We do only have one bag of candy, so I need to make that stretch. Um, they all look so cute and so happy. <laughs> anyway, um, I started another sweater for myself out of some Madeline Tosh um, yarn. I will link her website of her yarns down below. And if I can find the one that I'm actually using, I'll link it. Um, in a pattern I've done already, which I'll put a picture here. I really love the fit of this sweater. Uh, it's... It, it's simple and it was easy to make and it fits me pretty well so um this yarn of course that i'm using is very colorful and bright because you know um so yeah i did that we're passing out candy mr bob's not happy he's not here i'm so tempted when he's not here to drink all the coffee i i used to drink two pots a day by myself I'm not gonna do that. I'm boiling some water. We're gonna make a cup of tea. Caffeine free herb tea. <sighs> yeah, anyway. All right, and I didn't even turn the kettle on. We do have one. I just used the microwave. Cause you know, I'm not the frugal cat crafter. That's Lindsay Wyrick. I'm the lazy crafter. Emphasis on the lazy. So there's that. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. 
Okay, it's already been an interesting morning. <laughs> um, our friend and cleaning lady, Letty, is here. She's upstairs. Gardener's here. I've paid them both. I asked the gardener to take care of some blackberries that are coming through the fence in the back. Um, if you've never been to Oregon, we have a black, wild blackberry problem. Anyway, and yes, they're edible as long as they haven't been sprayed. Anyway, uh, I also had counseling this morning. Bob's still not home. He's still in California, but he gets home late tonight. And I have two main YouTube channels. Well, I have three. One is for patrons and supporters only. Uh, one is my broadcast channel that you're watching right now. And one is my watch channel that I watch everything on. And I, my watch channel, I barely comment on anything. I just watch, um, have things playing in the background while I'm crocheting or painting or something. Um... I watch it instead of TV. I don't really watch TV. So anyway, um, I barely comment on anything, but somehow I got a violation for spam. Spam and a bunch, a list of other things. I'll include a screenshot right here. I don't know what that's all about. I can't get through to anybody at YouTube to tell me what's going on. I barely comment on anything. I think in the last month I've commented on two crochet videos. So I don't know what they're talking about. And anyway, I'm banned from commenting on anything for 23 hours, 24 hours. I don't know. Anyway, oh joy. The automatic algorithms caught me on something. I don't know, what did I say? I have no idea. Anyway, as soon as everybody is done, I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to rearrange a couple things that I've been wanting to rearrange. And I'm going to sit and just listen to some more YouTube and crochet. And hopefully I don't come across something I want to comment on because I can't. I'll be back. Hey, you guys. I did a mini rearrange. New York. Um, okay. All the paint is now in this corner. Watercolor paint. Uh, let's see. Wait. There we go. Watercolor, paint, and pigment powders and some ink. Of course, the painting station. Um, acrylic paint, regular acrylic paint to use on canvas, but also there's a basket down there of matte acrylic paint, which if you've been following my channel, you know I prefer to use for journaling. I moved some stuff off at the back of the table. I have my journals and things up there at the ready and things I need at the table when I'm doing various kinds of projects. The things I didn't need to have on the table but did have on the table are now over here. For the most part, things are relabeled and reorganized. I really don't have to buy anything for a while because paint or tool wise at least because I got a lot, I gotta work through what I have. In fact, I think I have a couple of twos of golden paint that actually smell bad, which means they've gone off. Yeah, so anyway, oops, missed a paint palette. <laughs> yes, it's an egg plate. I have too many paint palettes. I don't need any more paint palettes. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'm gonna go sit and, t and chill, have a snack have some water, watch some YouTube, enjoy the quiet in my house right now. Uh, yeah. And hopefully I don't come across anything I need to comment on cause I can't and I don't know why. I'll be back. Okay, I have no idea what time it is. Let's see. It's just before six. Um, besides doing a mini rearrange of the art room and making the flow work a little better for me. I'll f I have one more of fixing the flow videos to film. I will do it at some point, I promise, soon. But anyways, once I was done with that, I made another carpet bag. I had one more of the frames and I had enough leftover material. Now this is the same material I used on the other carpet bag. It's just, this is the wrong side. But I thought it was interesting enough to make a bag out of and that, tan colors, something I just had left over. I didn't buy anything for this one uh, other than the frame. I had the frame. So yeah, now I got a spare. Not mad about it. All right, I think I'm going to, 
I don't know. Bob doesn't get home until lit. We're very late. I'm not super hungry. I may make a cup of coffee. I know, it's bad. But I have to stay up anyways until he gets home. So somebody's got to let him in. He doesn't have a house key. <laughs> All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey guys, um, if you hear some murmuring in the background, I left my tablet on downstairs and it's playing a video. I was gifted today via our local Buy Nothing group some wool. And um, I have the three skeins here. Now, when I first opened the wool bag, it smelled very dirty sheepy. If you know, you know. And so the first thing I did was give it a wash. And then the more I thought about it, you know, it's all soaking wet. It soaked for about 20 minutes in a tub of hot water and some soap. It smells still slightly sheepy, but fine. I'm gonna try dyeing it. And I've got some writ dye here already mixed up. I've got dark brown, teal, pearl gray, petal pink, and lemon yellow. I'm gonna set you off to the side somewhere where you can see what I'm doing. And we're gonna try this. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'll be back.
Okay. I think I like it. Um, it's darker when it's wet than it's gonna be when it's dry. We have no idea how it's gonna turn out. I am probably gonna go downstairs and grab a bucket and put it into a bucket. Um, it's gonna to have to be rinsed off. I was thinking about just leaving it overnight, but I don't think I'm gonna do that, so. Yeah, all right, let's get I to it. I choose to do this on a day when I've got a white shirt on. I'm really lucky so far, I haven't gotten anything on myself. You know, go me, <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, let's rinse off the yarn and see what happened. Yeah, okay. It's looking pretty interesting, you guys, hold on. Let's go get this laid out on the drying rack. Okay, it's gonna take a little bit for things to dry and then I'm gonna wind them up into cakes, but they're looking pretty good. For my first time, I'm not mad about it. Did they come out more brown than expected? Well, yeah, but I did put a lot of colors in there, so I kind of knew that probably would happen, but there are hints of teal and pink and yellow and green because blue and yellow make green. I don't have, I have any idea how many yardage, is, how much. Wow. I do have the skein labels and there is, um, do I have my glasses on? No. It's 100% fleece and Shetland wool, which is probably why it smells like wet dog. And um, they appear to be new unused skeins, each weighing about two ounces. So that's not a whole ton of yarn. I don't think it says on here how many yards or anything. Made in the USA, Botany Yarns. Of course, I'm doing this without my reading glasses on because that's smart. Nope, doesn't say how many yards, just says two ounces. I don't think it's a lot of yards. Like there's maybe 300 yards there. Maybe, if you're lucky. I doubt there's even that much. So, but maybe enough for a beanie and, or a scarf. There should be enough for that. So that's probably what'll happen with it, but it's pretty cool. So anyway, Botany Yarns, thank you to my buy nothing neighbor. I appreciate the yarn. We're gonna let it dry. Yep, and I'll be back. I have so many pairs of reading glasses, most of them on cords, and I still put them down and misplace them. And th this is a big house, you guys. Like, I'm not complaining, but Jesus. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. Got him. I'll be back. You people of the internet, there is actually a list of discontinued yarns and the specs on said discontinued yarns. Anyway, found it. It's Botany Yarns Scotty and two ounces, approximately 170 yarns per hank. And that's 500 and something. Should be plenty enough to make a beanie and maybe a scarf. So there's that. We're good. Okay, now I can sit down and relax. It's like my third or fourth time upstairs. I don't think I'm gonna have any problem getting steps in. I should say just in like the last hour third or fourth time. Anyway, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning, November 3rd, just before 10 a.m. I gotta go run and get some stuff for family dinner night. And Mr. Bob's gotta make some phone calls. We're gonna go out at about lunchtime. He doesn't have any meetings today. We've gotta go pay our property taxes. You generally in the US don't have to do that in person, but we do. We just find it fun. I don't know, we're twisted that way. Anyway, um, I have moved the yarn I dyed downstairs to the laundry room sink with um, a rag underneath it to let it drip dry. And that way I can um, let the drying rack upstairs dry out a little bit and then put it away in the closet. I like using it, but I don't like that it takes up so much room. Anyway, small problem. 
times. Uh, what else? I need to make some bread today, but I'm gonna do that after we get back from paying our taxes. And I think that's it. I think it's a pretty quiet weekend. I think the only other thing we have going on is Sunday evening going up to Portland Airport and picking up my dad. He comes home Sunday from his trip to Italy. And um, I can't wait to hear all about it. He looks like from the pictures that have been sent out on social media that he's having a great time. So. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning. November 4th. We are headed out in a minute to go for a drive, run some errands, all the things, and hang on. It's my outfit of the day. Some patchwork pants, a blouse, one of my sweaters. It makes me happy, so we're all good. And yes, I'm carrying a bag today because it's just sometimes it's easier. I do love pockets and no bag, but you know. All right, let's go get to it. I'll be back. Okay, Mr. Bob is downstairs napping on the couch with the TV on. It is almost 10 o'clock at night and I almost forgot to close the vlog. I came so close. Um, I took some of my mixed media bits off of the pegboard wall and hung some yarn, cause why not? Um, I like having it there, at least for the minute. Anyway, um, and I got done enough with my current sweater project that the whole round, it's crocheted in the round with no seams, but the whole yoke is done. So now it's time to do the body of the sweater and then we can progress to the sleeves. And I want to, it's a pattern I really enjoy making and I like wearing. So I'm going to keep making it because why not? Um, yeah, I still have my blouse on from today, but I've got sweatpants on. Because um, again, you know, uh, yeah, anyway, it's been a good day. It's been a good, we got a lot of errands done, but we also did a lot of fun driving. We drove all the way down to McMinnville. We didn't really need to go that far to run errands, but you know, it's just such a nice drive. Why not? So it was a good, nice, quiet day. Mr. Bob cleaned all the gutters out. I didn't even know he was doing that because he didn't like tell me or come get me to help him. But evidently he did it all by himself. I was just in here futzing around doing the crocheting. I, uh, you know, anyway, it's all good. <laughs> we got all the tourists done here at home and all that stuff. And uh, it's just a nice, quiet, relaxing weekend. Tomorrow we have to go pick up my dad at the airport. He's coming home from Italy, but that's for next week's vlog. Anyway, I'm having a lot of fun rediscovering my love of crocheting um, and needlework. And the past few months, I've been really focused on that and not on painting and drawing or journaling. And for those of you who miss that content, I'm sorry. I do have some stuff I want to film coming up. And you can't really see it right now because the lights aren't on. But I did rearrange this corner a little bit. And I think it is working much better. I'm going to go over a few changes I've made to enable me to sort of sit in my chair and crochet or come over here and paint or be over here and cut out a project or do some journaling. The ironing board's like right here. It's not gonna get put away. It's just right here. I, I The more I work in the space, it, uh, the better it gets. I am a person that definitely needs to be in a space for a while. It's been almost five years since we've been in the house um, or it has been five years, I think. I don't know exactly. But anyway, I need to be in a space for a while and live in it um, before I can really refine the workflow in the room. And we've really gotten to a really good place where the big pieces are, are perfect and they're good. And other than a few minor changes here and there, when my focus shifts to something else like the crocheting and the yarn, um, it's good otherwise. And that's perfect for me. Anyway, and the rest of the house is kind of the same too. Every now and then things get out of hand, but that's life, right? I mean, you know, anyway. Uh, we've had a good week. We've really enjoyed ourselves and life, and I'm enjoying all the crochet projects and working on the new sweater. 
and it's I'm using a Madeline Tosh yarn. I'll link their website down below. It is a wool blend yarn and um, it's hand dyed and it's beautiful, beautiful to work with. Um, so I'll link them down below. It's not budget friendly, just FYI. The next one I'm going to do is budget friendly and um, it's a beautiful acrylic yarn, so soft. And I'll talk about that when I start that project. Anyway, I hope you've all had a great week and have uh, a great day. Uh, don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe. Check out the video description for relevant links, ways to support the free content here on YouTube. Myself and many, many, many others on YouTube have ways you can support the free content, whether it's joining Patreon, um, buying merch, um, I'm a designer over at Art Foamies. You can go support them and me at the same time by um, buying an Art Foamy. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just do work for them, but they're a great USA-based company, and I know they'd appreciate the business, and they make some great stamps, you guys. Um, also, any relevant links will be down in the video description. If you're in the Beaverton, Oregon area... Check out for yarn, and you like yarn, check out for yarn's sake. It is a great little yarn shop that has some beautiful designer yarns, and I think you'd really like it. All right, that's it for the minute, I think. Can't think of anything else, but it is kind of late. It's possible I missed something, you know. Anyway, don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you all next week. Love you all so much. And if you want ready content, uh, access to me, by the way, with um, a messenger chat um, and a private YouTube channel with many, many, many videos that you will never see here on the public channel, join my Patreon and uh, I'll hook you up. All right. All right. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.